came up a steep hill, I had to get out and start pushing the tuk-tuk as it just wouldn't get up. So it's the famous Kandi to Ella train, which has some amazing views along the way. We're between Nuwara Elia and Ella, which is meant to be the highlight of the journey. Back we also met so few two little puppies, <laughs> and I can't wait to go back. They're so adorable. Hey, I'm Kira, and this is my better half, Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Sri Lanka series. Kieran, you need to get up. Just one more hour, please. Now we got the train to Ella to catch today. Train to Ella? We have made it to Kandy Railway Station and today we are heading to Ella. Yeah, so this is one of the most exciting days of our Sri Lankan trip. This was something we was looking forward to before coming. So it's the famous Kandy to Ella train, which has some amazing views along the way. So we're super excited, aren't we? Yeah, let's do it. stopped at Patipola station. We're between Nuwara, Elia and Ella, which is meant to be the highlight of the journey. How have you found it so far, Maddy? Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. The views are just stunning. Um, we had a lovely lunch. We, we haven't actually filmed too much because it's been really loud and it's actually been a lot more busy than I expected. Yeah. Um, when we got onto the train in Candy, all of the tourists up here are out of nowhere. I like, love. It's like back around of the bean. Yeah, like we we seen a few tourists in Kandy, but like they seem to be all at the train station. And a lot of back as well. So we had a bit of a change in plan. We were due to get off at the Ella station, but we actually stayed on the train and we're now heading to Ella Badulla. The reason being the Ella station is just before the famous Nine Arch Bridge. So we stayed on to see that and it's so worth it. The views are amazing. There's plenty of tourists there waiting to take loads of photos. So yeah, I'm glad we did that, but we're just on the way to Badulla now. We're not too far away, so we're nearly there. Right guys, so we finally made it to our accommodation in Ella and it was quite the adventure getting here. So after we got off the train, uh, the two of us became seven. So we were looking at getting a big taxi all together. However, it wasn't connecting. So we ended up having to get two tuk-tuks and there was four of us in the one tuk-tuk. And as we were driving uh, to Ella, the, we came up a steep hill. I had to get out and start pushing the tuk-tuk as it just wouldn't get up. So yeah, that was, I wasn't expecting that. But now that we are here, it's a really nice place. I'll go and show you the room. Maddie is just in there at the moment. So this is our budget room. We've been upgraded. Actually. We've been upgraded. Yeah. So the budget room is upstairs. It's smaller. Um. So the hostel said that they upgraded this. It's a little bigger room, and I think it's a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So we have a fan which is helpful a big bed and a small bed for maddie <laughs> and then oh very pink bathroom i've not actually been in here well that is pink so yeah that's uh what we've got how much did we pay for this maddie so it comes through about seven pounds a night with breakfast included oh that's pretty good um, and we're here for two nights so it's 
super cheap. It's only like three pounds fifty a person, and breakfast included. So it's a bargain. Yeah, that's good. It is a bit outside of Ella. And when we got into Ella Town, we had to get another tuk tuk up here, which took about ten minutes. Um, but we are here for two nights, like Maddie said, and then we've got an accommodation already booked for I think ten nights after that. So we're looking forward to exploring Ella. So we've just got a quick tuk tuk down into Ella Town as we are staying uh, a bit further out. It took about ten minutes to get here, and it cost us two hundred and fifty. Uh, Schlanken rupees, which is still very cheap. Yeah, we're just going to meet up some friends that we met today on the train. And yeah, and just have a good evening together. Yeah, have, have some dinner, maybe a beer. So we've just got back after dinner. We had a nice evening. We met a few German people on the train from Ella. So we went out for dinner, had a few drinks. Yeah, it was a really cool evening. Um, we're going to go to bed now because we're actually getting up for sunrise in the morning. So we're all meeting at about 5 a.m. So I think it's time to get some sleep. Good morning. Um, it's quarter to five. We're just getting ready to head out and watch the sunrise. We're getting tucked up down to the town, meeting the guys we met yesterday on the train. And then we walking up the little Adam's Peak and hopefully we can catch a sunrise because surely it has to be worth waking up this early. We jumped into our tuk-tuk and the driver took full advantage of the fact that it was 5am and dropped us off into Ella Town. So we've just made it to little Adam's Peak. Uh, there's no sunrise just yet, we are a bit early, it's about quarter past six at the moment. It took us about half an hour to get here from the centre of Ella. So as soon as the sunrise comes, I'm sure it'll make a great view. So no sunrise today, unfortunately, but it was still a super impressive view and um, quite overcast, but we're here in Ella for a few weeks. So I'm sure there's a possibility of another 4.30 a.m. and come back out here and fingers crossed for a sunrise. So we're just on our way back to our homestay now. It's coming up to eight o'clock. Uh, we have breakfast included between 7.30 and 9.30. So we're pretty hungry now. So we're gonna go get some food, maybe a coffee as we're quite tired. But the little Adam's Peak was definitely worth it. Although it was overcast and you know, you couldn't see the sunrise completely. It was just nice to get up early, spend some time with friends and, and do quite a nice hike really. So yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, and the sun is actually starting to peek through now, so it's getting a little bit warmer. Um, but yeah, it was lovely on the way back. We also met so few, few little puppies, <laughs> and I can't wait to go back. They're so adorable. I'm super excited as breakfast has just arrived, and I'm so in need of some food and coffee. So today, we have some eggs, some papaya, watermelon, some bread with jam, some banana and definitely a much needed coffee and the added bonus is we have a lovely view so we are going to dig into this lovely breakfast now that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it as much as we did make sure you are subscribed and follow on for more of our sri lankan content so we're going to have a for now